Blackmail Engagement Pittsburgh. Share, inspire, connect. Yeah, my name is Clay Moorfield, and I'm a IFPA International Fitness Professionals Association personal trainer, and I work out of one-on-one -on -one fitness in the Strip District. One of the hopes for the future of my community is, being as though I'm a certified trainer, and I've grown up and, and witnessed a lot of individuals not really having an understanding of the benefits of health. I'm trying to uh, encourage the community to, to get out and exercise people of all ages, and hopefully, individuals get on some type of lifetime uh, oriented system to where they continue to have some benefit from uh, exercise and well uh, diet and in the future. But the things I do to strengthen my community are by having uh, activities for the youth and try to give them uh, avenues to, to uh, put their energy into something positive and not nothing negative and I try to encourage the parents to come out with them to, to interact with them and myself to try to uh, have a more positive uh, attitude in the community. Well the main problems and challenges are being as though that there's not a, a lot of funding has been taken away, a lot of recreation centers have been closed in a lot of the community so just the main issue is finding a venue to have something where people could come because the summer's okay because you could go outside but once the winter and the fall gets here and weather gets kind of bad a lot of people don't want to be out in the cold because it's not good. And the things that I try to do to overcome these challenges were to try to find places that are accessible to the people to where they can still come once the weather uh, gets a little cold outside. I chose to share my story through blackmail engagement because strengthening the community is very important to me and it's like giving thanks. Giving thanks for a community along with its members who helped me develop the man that I am today. Who helped me develop some type of integrity, some type of respect, some type of uh, well-being and, and, and confidence in myself. So being as though this thing ha happened through the community and its members, I just like to try to give back and just like saying thank you to the community and its members. And that's why I chose to share my story.